good morning everyone a very good morning shall we start the session uh, today's topic is the session number seven that is e-learning so how this course will be implemented how the course vision is discussed that is particularly used with the good views ideas from your personal experiences and it is also impossible to go through a complete course in detail. The course that is used is organized in the fields that is concentrated on discussing a big financial or essential product that is very common for the most web services. And as an application example, a hypothetical web course on the information retrieval is also used. We assume that the following list can be used as a guide for our discussion. What is the list that is used? That is the course architecture, authorization and authentication, text, illustrations, literature, evaluation. So these are the tools. These are the information retrieval tool that is used with the hypothetical web course. And you find a link to the implementation of the example by the end of the session that is used with the PIN code that have already been registered with the email that is dummy and the dummy and the PIN code zero. Then the course architecture is also used for the development of the web course like any IT system that is an R. There are no absolute path, there are no proven path for which it is the best approach. Now next part is the course architecture for which the web course like an IT system is an R and there was an absolute and there are no absolute proven rules for which it is the right and or the best approach. The more complex the objectives are, the more elaborative course architecture structure will be required. In this example application, a folder with a flat organization of all the needed files that will be considered acceptable and all the files for the example is in a single folder that is exception of a database located outside the directly accessible area and also referred as a session role data source. The security consideration are also important in connection with the course design. So we use the course application as a case for discussing authorization and authentication of the users which is a common task in many applications. So whatever the task, whatever the authorization of authentication users that will be available, uh, that is a very common task and along with the road we are also using the comments to make the form of the security also. So this is the organization example diagram that shows there is a user entrance authorization then there is a progress control authentication information. So these are the three parts, six parts that will be available. And progress control is also used with the information, authorization, authentication by which it is also required with the different lectures, lecture 1, lecture 2, lecture 3, lecture 4. And there are also the figures, four figures are also available that will be used as a authorization progress control that will be depicted, that will be um, discussed over here. Now, next is what is the authorization and authentication. So in mostly web courses, participation requires authorization that is each participating student has been admitted by a sponsoring organization and by authorization the participant receives some kind of identification to prove his or her right to enter the course. The requirement that is governing the authorization can also vary from course to course and the technique of assigning the identification or identification so proving the right to participate is a highly relevant subject to discuss. And the first template that is discussed over here is the index.cfm which open our example course scenario that starts by welcome text to both admitted and the new applying students. So these differentiates or line three differentiates actions for the two groups and that is a new that is asked to go for a registration while already uh, students can proceed to log. So there are two parts, one is for the new one is for the already login registration. So this all login alternative first, that login process requires the student that have a email address and the personal pin code for which he or she have been registered. So this is the e-learning information retrieval. So this is your interest in this course on the information retrieval. So if you already have registered for this course, go into the login. And if you are new and want to join the course, we need some information analysis that will need to require identity number that is a pin to click on the registration form and if you are already registered so please continue with this so this access the course with your pin code so click on the button that is a submit button so this this checking will be required by the student that is entitled to access the course as an admitted student that is referred as the authentication 
So this index.cfm template is also quite ordinary and looks like this one. This is the index.cfm. There is a H1, font color is blue, size is 3, I, it, Italy, e-learning, information retrieval. Font will be closed. Yeah, another font will be closed that is available in the blue color. And the H1 will be closed. Then there is a P, that is paragraph. So this P tag will be used for the information retrieval and if you already have been registered for this course, click go into the login. So this and you want to join this course, so this requires some additional information from you and also needs a PIN that is a personal identity number. So click on the A, that is the AHREF registration or CFM. So this is a, a anchor for, uh, tag that will be required for the login. this P if you already registered please continue so then there is a P and then there is a bold phone color is given as a red so access the course with your then form method equals to post action equals to action dot cfm then pin input type is password name is submitted click on the button what is the button that is submit button then the form will be closed this is the authorization and authentication next is registration and authorization this is given with the registration form. Now this is the registration form, course registration form. This includes the registration dot CFM H2. Font color is blue. Registration form, font will be closed, H2 will be closed. Then form, action is authorization dot CFM. Method is first. Then there is a pre tag. That is a predefined. Everything is already uh, available over here. That means everything is same over here. The pre. So first name, input type is text. Name is first name. Size is 30. So we are creating a text box with a size 30. That means we can insert maximum to maximum 30 characters over here. Then family name. Again there is a text box. Name is the last name. Size is 30. Again there is the email. So input type is text. Name is email. Size is 30. Then pre will be closed. So there are three parts over here. First name, family name, and the email. Then P, all boxes must be complete, must be complete, uh, compile hardware platform and the limitations of the web server. So whatever the web server that is required, that is used over here. In a similar way, the uh, ETH for successfully or so processing, that the P will be lost. So this is all available within the P tag. The input type is submit, value is submit, your registration, then the form will be closed. And the pin can either be self-composed, that is the person who requests or the registration provides his or her own password and it is assigned by the system. And self-composed pin have the advantage that they have advantage of a taking that is easier for the owners to remember and they have a special technique, hashing, that is kept secret also the system staff. And when we compare the, with the system assigned passwords, the disadvantage of the self-composed pin are that it can be easy to guess. It can be easy to crack and cannot easily serve as an identical or internal identifier. And the above template has no fields for providing cell composed pins indicated that we have chosen to use system aside identifiers. So what's over the sign password, what's over the pin that is used to guess that, that cannot be retrieved, that can be served as an internal identity. 
and these templates have no field profile in some compose field indicating that we have chosen to use system assigned identifiers. This restriction.cfm template leaves the control to the authorization.cfm which can be modified in multiple ways. For example, when the course capacity which is set in line 2 will depend on the number of factors as the nature of the course, the capacity of the instructor. In the same way, multiply also set in the line 3 is also another parameter that can be changed. So whenever we increase the value of the multiplier that affects the security by reducing the risk that a valid password can be found by an, a potential intruder. And note that the value 5 of multiplier with a random pin rendition is also used. That means there is a potential intruder in average that must take a 5 trial to hit the valid pin value. Because the size that is used that must take the valid pin, that must take the codes that are drawn, that is a 5 times the capacity. And since a valid pin number has to be combined with the associated email address, so the risk is considered with the loss trend. And this application uses the data source, session dot data source with a table, use pin, which has two columns, email and the pin. For security reasons, the database also located outside the area available from the web in an example that is specified in the application.cf. So the template that have a CF query tag name list with a select form statement. So this have a list retrieves all the values in the column pin and the number of records in the table is also available as a value of the variable list dot record count and line 7 that is a cf set tag that uses a pin for the value parameter list record count that already has reached the capacity limit and if so a message about no vacancy or no vacant position is sent to the student and if there is still capacity, lines 10 to 30 specify the further processing. That means that the CF query that requires the further processing. Next query is the authorization.cfm that is required with the CFL. CF set capacity that is 10, multiply that is 5. And the query name is list data sources db. So select pin from used pin, then CF query will be closed. So CF query that is a list dot record count that is equal to the capacity. So this record count is equal to capacity. Then H2 font color is red. And so the course has no vacant position. This will print as it is with the font uh, that the font is color is red and the H2 will be closed. Then there is a CF else. So either if, if, if the record count is equal to the capacity, then print over here that sorry the course has no vacant position. Otherwise, test for the zero. If it is test for the zero, then we'll go for the randomized second now and see if set generated pin random range one multiplier that is the capacity. Then CF set uh, test equals to one. So CF loop query equals to list and if it is equals to generated list, so then we use the CF set, test equals to 0, CF break, CFA, loop, now. If the test is again equals to 1, break, if so these are used with the looping, uh, either, either test for the 0, either test for the 1, then use with the data source DB. So insert into the used pin, pin email values, generated pin email, then CF query will be closed. Then CF output will be opened over here, H2, H2. Then P will be used, P will be used, P will be closed. And the output will be closed, if will be closed. So the generation of a pin could not previously variable, define a variable test that is set equals to 0. And this loop block from uh, 9 to 11 to 20, that loop will be available uh, for the test equals to 0 is true. And in the lines 12 to 13, there is a pin code generated by the random generator, multiplier capacity, and the variable set is also set to be 1. Then an internal CF loop will be inserted between this block to check if the generated pin is free and not already used. So operation of the second CF loop block is also interesting because we have a pin for the query object that is received the pin and compare if the pin is generated pin. Now if the new pin is found among the used pin now, that will be available over here. So this will be used. If, if the CF if loop will be broken out and returns or uh, it uh, gives the remainder of the CF loop that is passed out without any actions. 
So whenever the petrol is returned to the light one, so this continue until the inner loop is passed without being broken, this implies that the generated pin is unused. So new student is also inserted into this one. When the database with an email address pin code and the line 28 to 30 of the message generated to get the student. And if there is a real life course, the registration form will uh, usually be intercepted for an offline evaluation against the pin against the data source. So that, that pin course, pin code will be generated and the message will be sent to the application. So this authentication I have submitted is email address in the pin code on the form generated by the index.cfm. The template will be discussed and the process is transferred to the test authentication mode CFM. Purpose is the same to check whether the submitted application exists or not. And if it exists, so it sets a variable set to the zero and queries the data source from the list. So this will be given with the query that the name as authentication. So the authentication CF set that was zero. This authentication with the data source with the, with the data line it will be submitted pin. So data source is session or data source name is the application and the pin is from the use pin. Low pin we will done for submitted pin. Our text for the zero and the now the next query for authentication that is also based with the test is zero. And also query the data for for the listing out for the list of all the registered pairs of email and the pin values. So query is named as authentication. So CF set test equals to zero. Submitted pin form submitted pin. And then CF query data source that is session dot data source name is authentication. And then select pin from used pin. So we are getting the pin from the used pin. <laughs> Now CF query will be closed over here. Looping will be start and the query is given as authentication. Then the CF if if pin is equals to submitted pin, set CF set test equals to one. CF break, CF if will be closed, CF loop will be closed, and if test is equals to one, so session dot pin is submitted dot pin. This H3 font color is blue. Please, that is please, and then given you the link. Please continue. And when a user click on the continue, that will be a hyperlink. You see if else. H3 phone color is red. Your pin code was not accepted, and the phone will be closed. H3 will be closed, and CF if will be closed over here. And as in the authorization template, this template also have our CF loop loop in the line 7 to 12 in which all the retrieved pin codes are compared with the submitted pin and if one retrieved the code matches the submitted, so variable test is also set to the one. And the loop is broken. So line 13 contains a variable test. And if test is equal to one, authentication is also positive and if the test condition is not true line 17 produces a message to the student that the pin code was rejected and this template demonstrates the principle by which we can use the previously status security policy but with the registered email address and the used pin code that should be retrieved for each and every student and compared with the submitted email address and pin code after that there is a list of the content with the positive or the content.cf it have been used with the email address with the pin code generated by the index.cf template and the process control is then transferred to the template authentication.cf and the purpose is to limit it to check whether the submitted pin code exists or not. And this template starts by setting the variable that is a test equals to zero. And queries the data source from the list of the registered pair of the email and pin values. This query is named as authentication. This is authentication the CF test equals to zero. CF said submitted pin is the form submitted 
pin then query is the data source what is the data source session not data source and the name is authentication next select the pin from the used pin cf query will be closed then cf loop query is authentication cff if the pin is equal to the submitted pin and if the cf set test is one the break break for this one and the if will be closed then loop will be closed over here then if if test is equal to one session will be in a submitted pin then h3 phone color is blue please ahrea content.cfm continue then the cf else open h3 phone color is red your pin code has been was not accepted form then h3 will be closed and the cf if will be closed then this authentication authorization template and this have a cf loop block in the line 7 to 12 in which all the retrieved pin codes are compared with the submitted and if one retrieved code matches the submitted pin, that means when any of the code have been submitted, if that is set to the zero, the loop is broken out. So this contains a variable test, and if the test is equal to one, authentication is positive, and if the test condition is not true, line 17 produces a message to the student that the pin code was rejected. And the about template demonstrates the principle and if we should implement the previously stated security policy both as a registered email address and use pin code so that will be retrieved for each student and compared with the submitted email address in the pin code so that will be the registered email address and the used pin codes the next is a line of the or the list of the content so with the positive, after the pos after the positive authentication, this template content.cfm displays a list of the course content for the student from which he or she select a lecture. That have no links. So requesting the new services, our agent offers an email service that based on the Washington Post. This is whatever we are given over in the beta. Then warning will be given on an HTML page embedded in the email address. So this may pose also cause a problem for some email program and do not request too many days of if you choose a particularly appearing topic. And then there is a way, uh, boxes, your name, text box, your email address, text box, the topic in which you are interested, text box, number of days you want the service, text box, source for the service, Washington, CNN, Washington Post, and the CNN. Then there is a submit button. Then this is a new subscription, subscription form. And since there are not uh, non-existence in the example, to contain .cfm, H2 phone color is blue, information retrieval course, font will be closed, H2 will be closed. And then font color is blue, contain font H2. Then OL for the ordered list and like lecture interaction, lecture the description and the query language, and then document index. There are three allies in the this OL that is numbering with the one, two, three, four, five. There are five LI in this, sorry, six LIs. Introduction and the evaluation have a link holes, but else everyone is else, uh, okay with that. Then P, P, LI, A, H, R, E, F is literature.cfm references. A will be closed, LI will be closed. 